welcome to the world famous Jiggy Jaguar radio program. Raw and uncut, Jiggy Jag, you know how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it all the way live. Broadcasting live from Hutchinson, Kansas. Well, I'm sitting here with a linguist. I had a linguist. no idea. <laughs> I love I didn't that. know you were a but I didn't know that you were a wordsmith. <laughs> Call Jiggy right now. 267 22 Jiggy. Daddy Monday. Hey Jiggy, what's happening, man? It must be that uh, <laughs> David Bowie song. Jiggy play guitar, Jeff. It's a great name, man. Thanks so much for having me on the show. Presenting. I'm, I'm Mike Massey, and uh, you know, you can catch me on Jiggy Jag TV and uh, see a few of my tricks up there. Thank you very much. Jiggy Jaguar. I never knew what freedom was until I saw you lose yours. Help if I turn the microphone on. It is the world famous Cheeky Jaguar radio program, coast to coast, aboard to board. It's a bonus hour here on KJagradio.com. Tune in, iTunes, Radio Loyalty, Stitcher, and of course, 50 plus AM FM stations across the country and around the world. iHeartRadio as well. We're live 2 to 5 Central, 3 to 6 Eastern, 12 to 3 Pacific, and 1 to 4 Mountain Standard each and every Monday through Friday. Or 24-7 at JiggyJaguar.com. Our brand new free Droid app is available, and also it's available for iPhone as well. I'm very proud of myself. I sent my very first app notification to let everyone on the app know we have Velvet, Red Velvet Crush in studio here in just a few moments. And uh, it actually went out, and it made sense. It wasn't just some rambling tweet. Sometimes I send out rambling tweets, and uh, or I send out Facebook posts like I did Yesterday, when I was when I was pissing everybody off, when when uh, I made the comment about Prince passing away, and everyone's like, "Oh, you know, I don't have any of his albums." I ran right to you, or ran right over to iTunes and downloaded everything I could. I'm a true fan, but uh, <laughs> I pissed off everybody yesterday when I when I talked about all of those people that will do that. It was the same thing when Mo- when when the guy from Motorhead died, Lemmy. Everybody went and downloaded Motorhead. CDs. It's like you're not a fan. You're just a social media fan. Uh, by the way, download our brand new app over there at JiggyJaguar.us or in the iTunes Store or Google Play. You can download and stream our podcast from our catalog of the year 2000 to current. As soon as a new show is on our uh, podcasting RSS feed, it is available on our app. Videos, we stream live from our website, which we are doing right now at JiggyJaguar.com, and uh, you can watch us on the app as well. Social media interaction, Facebook, Twitter, that's available on the app as well. Latest news from our website, as soon as this interview is finished, uh, we will post it to our website at JiggyJaguar.com. If you have the app, you'll be able to relive it or uh, re-listen to it. And uh, also listen to us 24-7 at JiggyJaguar.com. You can download our app today, and uh, people are downloading it like crazy. We're going to be talking to Red Velvet Crush here in a few moments. They are part of a big show tonight at the Rusty Needle here in the Great Salt City of Hutchinson, Kansas. And uh, if you're watching us live on Ustream, there they are. Red Velvet Crush, how are you guys? Good, how are you? Pretty good, actually. Tell us a little bit about Red Velvet Crush. How did you guys get started? And uh, just tell me a little bit about the band. Um, we got started after I had a solo project a while back, a few years ago, and um, I needed a touring bassist. And uh, my old drummer, mutual friend, Nathaniel, and he came on board and we clicked um, just on all our thoughts as far as music. That's awesome. That's cool. So uh, you guys are uh, on a little Kansas tour, I guess. Here you've got you you've got your show tonight. You're gonna be in Wichita, Kansas tomorrow. Yeah, little weekend, short weekend, right? That's cool. Now, uh, Red Velvet Crush. Where do you get the name from? There's no big story. It's just. Awesome. Awesome. Now, uh, you guys have a new CD coming out in May. Tell me a little bit about the, uh, the new CD. Um, do our drums, 
And yeah, it comes out May 21st. We have a release show at Riot Room and um, it's a new EP. Um, we're very excited. I feel like it's kind of a different departure in a really great way from our last record. It's still a pop rock, but um, it's definitely an evolution of what we were a few years ago when we started out to now. Um, I feel like each track kind of encompasses its own different story, but yeah. you can all hear it for the whole crush song. That's awesome. And uh, if you want to find them on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash Red Velvet Crush. And uh, you guys do a lot of updating, a lot of social media stuff. H- how is the uh, interaction on social media to you guys? That's it. That's it. Hey. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. You guys are making some stuff happen. That's pretty cool. We've got uh, Red Velvet Crush with us in studio today. Uh, they're going to be part of a big show with the Rusty Needle this evening. 9 p.m. is uh, when when this thing kicks off. And uh, Red Velvet Crush, I know that Mike Clares has been t- from the Rusty Needle has been talking about you guys for several weeks now. He is been telling everyone and their brother oh you gotta come hear these guys these guys are fantastic he just he he, he puts you guys over big time yeah, so that's cool hey acoustic works yeah that's awesome so, uh, what, basically what, you guys are going to become a full band again and then release the new CD and then go on tour? Is that what the... Yeah, so, so we have, you know, we have people we've been rehearsing with, so we've been rehearsing the, you know, CD out and start playing more shit, full band shows. That's awesome. Well, uh, tell me a little bit about Forget Me Not. We're going to play that here in a few moments. Yeah. Um, we've been playing an acoustic for years, and people always seem to really get into it when we found an acoustic. And we were a producer, and both of us collectively were like, oh, we should probably put that one on the new record. Cause we <laughs> on the last record. That's um, awesome. It was, like, it was at a point where it's like, this needs to go on yeah. the record. And yeah. the full band version, the produced version, is like, I think, totally different than how the acoustic version's been done. It's still yeah. the same. That's it awesome. Was the first song we ever wrote and, um, yeah. Well, here we go. Forget me not. It's the new single from Red Velvet Crush. When we come back, we'll uh, chat with them a little bit more and let them get on their way here. But right now, it's Forget Me Not here on the world famous Cheeky Cheek Wire radio program, Coast to Coast and Border to Border. <laughs> 